IP sec statuses indicate the current state of an OCI VPN tunnel. More importantly, IPsec status values provide valuable diagnostic insight when tunnel problems arise. This presentation covers the location of IPsec statuses, status interpretation guidelines, and troubleshooting pointers, in addition to best practices when support engagement is required. Let's view an OCI VPN tunnel's current IPsec status. IPsec statuses appear on the tunnel's associated IPsec connection page in the OCI console. To view an OCI VPN tunnel's IPsec status, access your OCI console in a web browser. Then navigate to the networking section of the console. Locate the customer connectivity header, scroll down, click site to site VPN. Next, click the IPsec connection string associated with your tunnel. The IPsec statuses appear in the tunnels table. Just be sure to view the IPsec status that corresponds to the tunnel in question. Here, we see this tunnel's IPsec status is down. However, going forward, we will be focusing our attention on the alternative partial up IPsec status. Let's turn our attention to interpreting IPsec statuses. A partial up status indicates a phase two issue. Specifically, partial up appears when tunnel types, encryption domains, or phase two Diffie-Hellman groups aren't properly configured. Let's review troubleshooting steps that you can perform if you encounter a partial up IPsec status. The partial up IPsec status usually occurs when a CPE side's tunnel config passes multiple encryption domain pairs, but some of those pairs fail to establish. Here, note that some CPE vendors refer to encryption domains as proxy IDs, traffic selectors, access lists, and other terms. No matter what term is used, there are simply pairs of source and destination site arranges that a CPE uses to match and encrypt traffic to send outbound over the tunnel and to accept traffic back when it comes inbound over the tunnel. To screen for this type of phenomenon, first review your CPE's phase two settings. If you identify more than one encryption domain or equivalent pair, take the following action. Access your actual tunnel in the OCI console. Click the edit button that appears at the top of the tunnels page. This exposes all of the configuration currently associated with your tunnel. Scroll down if needed and locate the routing type option. Ensure that the policy-based routing type is selected. This routing type is designed for use with any CPE tunnel, which employs multiple source and destination site arranges as a part of its phase two traffic selection configuration. Next, ensure that you populate the on-premises CIDR blocks and the Oracle Cloud CIDR blocks fields with all of the ranges defined on your CPE. These ranges must be an exact match. Then you would save your changes and test. If the problems persist, proceed to match your phase two IPsec settings. To do so, you would scroll down in this same tunnel edit dialog and you would click show advanced options. You'd scroll down some more to locate the phase two IPsec configuration section. Click its set custom configuration checkbox. And here, populate the encryption algorithm, authentication algorithm, and most importantly, the Diffie-Hellman group setting 
with the same value selected by your CPE side tunnel configuration. And once again, you would save those changes. I'm not saving changes because this is a demo tunnel, but be sure to save any changes that you may make. Now, be aware that some encryption domain pairs may enter a listen state if no traffic is routed using that pair. And this listen state can cause the tunnel to enter a partial up IPsec status. In some cases, resumption of traffic flow may bring the pair back into an established state, thereby restoring the tunnel's up IPsec state. However, in some instances, you may need to employ ping watchdog or a similar configuration to ensure the encryption domain pairs reestablish after a break in traffic flow. If you continue to have questions or concerns regarding a tunnel's partial upstate, reach out to OCI support. Prior to doing so, let's review support engagement best practices. If you need assistance debugging a partial up IPsec status or a similar issue, be sure to send the following resources along with a brief statement of your current problem. Tunnel OSIDs, CPE make, model, and software version, CPE phase one and phase two negotiation settings, and your CPE's encryption domain or equivalent setting. Thank you for viewing this video on the partial up IPsec status. Ensuring phase two is properly configured is critical to ensuring smooth tunnel connectivity and traffic flow. So take the time to review and implement any applicable changes we discussed and reach out to OCI support if further assistance is needed.